Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem Floyd's triangle. So first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically in this question, we would be given a value n. For example, it's 4. So basically this value is telling us how many rows there would be in Floyd's triangle. Okay, so 4 means 4 rows. So let's do it. First row, second row, third row and fourth row okay now in each row we can we need to add elements according to the number of the row like in the first row i can only add one element so let's say one comes over here okay now after one element is added i cannot add any more elements in it so then i would move to the second row now in second row i can add two elements right so those two elements would be two and 3 okay now after two elements i cannot add any more elements right so i would go to the third row okay in the third row i can add three elements so it would be 4 5 and 6 okay after these three elements i would move to the last row that is the fourth row right so this would be 7 8 9 and 10 okay so this this is the floyd's triangle okay so i hope you all are clear with the concept and what we are trying to achieve okay now this question would be solved using for loop okay we would apply two for loop one is for increasing the numbers while one is for increasing the row value so basically applying two for loops we can easily solve this question so i hope the concept is clear to you and now let's start by solving it so let's go to the practice portal in practice portal you need to scroll down and in filters you need to choose difficulty as school okay after that you need to find the problem floyd's triangle once you find it you need to click on solve okay let's solve it okay let's read the question first given a number n the task is to print floyd's triangle with n lines okay and we would be coding this question over here okay so let's solve it so we need to do this using for loop so first initially number equal to one okay let me just remove the cat's lock then the first for loop right for i in range circular brackets one comma n plus one colon enter now the second for loop right so it would be for j let's take j in range okay its range would be same as the upper one i comma i plus one right you cannot you know in one row you cannot add more numbers right if one is the row value then you know only one number can be added in it let's move forward enter and now we need to print the numbers here right so print num comma after every number you need to add some space right single quote space after this you need to increase the value of number every time right you are not printing the same number you are increasing it by one every time okay after this you just need to print it okay one minute print okay circular let's wait the compilation is completed and my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the problem let's submit it so see the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem floyd's triangle i hope this video was helpful for you and if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today thank you